Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today's Two Minute Anatomy lesson is on the ribs, specifically the regions of the ribs, the length of the ribs, and the directions of the ribs. Now we have 24 total ribs. There's 12 on each side. When we speak of the ribs or when we count the ribs, we start from the top and we work our way down. So the most superior rib is rib number one, or sometimes we just say the first rib. And then as we work our way all the way down, the most inferior rib is the 12th rib or rib number 12. So we start counting from the top and we work our way down. Now the ribs have several different sections to them. The head of the rib articulates with either one vertebrae or two vertebrae in the thoracic spine, depending on which rib that it is. So it is the rib head that articulates with the spine. And then the neck of the rib comes laterally from the head of the rib and the shaft of the rib wraps all the way around to the anterior aspect of the rib cage. Now the ribs are a variety of length. When we go from the top and work our way down, ribs number one through seven increase in length and ribs number eight through 12 diminish in length. So again, starting from the top and working our way down, ribs number one through seven increase in length and ribs number eight through 12 decrease in length. Now the ribs are at a variety of angles. Ribs number one through nine, as we go downwards, they increase in the obliqueness of their direction. And then ribs number 10, 11, and 12 decrease in the obliqueness of their direction. So rib number nine is the most oblique. And when we start at the top and work our way down, one through nine increases in its obliqueness then ribs number 10, 11, and 12 decrease in their obliqueness.